Okay, let's see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna put my button in this one. Okay, and it's tipped my scale all the way until the cup fell off. I'm gonna set it back down. Okay, so it looks like right now it has more mass than an empty cup. And now I'm gonna put in the quarter. And it's completely tipped my scale all the way the other way. So, okay, now I'm gonna put, so this one, remember has the button in it. This one has the quarter in it. I'm gonna fix my scale. I'm gonna put them on at the same time and see what happens. Okay, it looks like the one with the quarter in it has more mass. So even objects that are the same size, but they're made out of different materials, one can have more mass than the other. In this case, our quarter is made of metal and our button is made of plastic. So which one has more mass? Plastic or metal? It's the metal coin. Try it again. Yep. The metal coin has more mass than our button. So that means that the metal coin has more mass than the plastic button. That means that the metal has more stuff inside of it than the plastic does. So things made out of metal, even when it's the same size and shape as another object made of plastic, the metal has more mass. So let me know, how did the experiment go for you? You can try it with two other objects in your house. So maybe you have two different balls at home who are um, the same size and shape, but if they're made of different materials, they might have different masses. Try it out. Happy learning.